we finally found the scoundrel behind the attacks <laughs> which we already knew <laughs> which I already knew at least um, or speculated to be clay because who else is in a unique position to try to to try, to try scheming behind the back because because at the same time you're like clay is not the type of person is gonna lay down and just you know what I'm saying take make Jax walk all over him even though he's completely in the wrong right he's just not the type super alpha dude you know what I'm saying he's just not the type to sit down and you know because he didn't want to step down he was forced to step down so you know what I'm saying I expected him to fight back in some way or some form I just didn't think that he would put the club itself in jeopardy for this to happen he knows the blowback will come on Jax Jax is saying he has no idea what's going on but Pope told him look internally because most of the time that's where you know what I'm saying y your closest friend could be your worst enemy you know what I'm saying so it's just how it is but in any case guys we're gonna jump in there's a lot going on in this show right now like story wise you know what I'm saying Tara trying to get to Otto um, Gemma you know wow that the Gemma Carla thing that just that just went out of control very surprising I didn't think Carla was a, a sick individual um, as in you know mental health kind of thing I didn't know that she was Nero's half sister like that was surprising too um, apparently she had a thing for Nero which is kind of weird you know what I'm saying knowing that that's her half brother but at the same time it does happen you know we can sit down and and, and you know make it seem like you know it's wrong don't get me wrong it is absolutely wrong you know what I'm saying when it comes on to incest and stuff like that it, it's absolutely wrong but to deny the fact that it, the possibility is not the possibility of you know a brother having feelings for a sister is not possible is completely you know what I'm saying like it, it shouldn't happen but it, it does happen you know what I'm saying because feelings of affection you know what I'm saying it can boil over into 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 other things um, so just like how we can say it's wrong we can also say it is a possibility um, for you know a brother and a sister to have feelings for each other you can't say it's impossible because it's happened all the damn time so <laughs> you know what I'm saying so it, it, it's completely wrong and it shouldn't happen because the reason why incest is 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 wrong is because of the repercussions of it you get what I'm saying um, you could have deform de deformities uh, you know if you if you have a child you know it's more likely for the child to have deformities if um, if you know the genes are so close together um, this that's um, you know conceiving a child you know what I'm saying because it, 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 it's a weird dynamic okay it's a weird dynamic is wrong period but we can't deny the fact that it does it does happen you know what I'm saying um, so yeah let's jump into these episodes I will see you guys for the review All right, so that was episode seven and eight of season five, Sons of Anarchy. And, you know, I know I keep talking about it, but it's the same, man. It's the, it's the constant lying in this show that's going to be their undoing. And, you know, I'm glad that at least, you know, Jax is getting the truth. And you don't have to wait seasons upon seasons to see the truth come out. So now Jax is planning to have Gemma spy on Clay to really get him to admit to certain stuff, you know. But who to know that she won't turn on Jax, you know what I'm saying? At this point, it, it, it's, it's to the point where, you know, I'm looking at him like, no, 
you there's no defending Gemma in this situation there's no defending Gemma in this situation there just there just isn't any 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 situation there just in any way or any circumstance that you can possibly explain to me why Gemma should get a pass on this she absolutely does not deserve a pass she deserves to get punched in the face it's just it's a situation where you know what I'm saying where some people is gonna say I wouldn't have stood up and let my wife hit my mom in the face listen <laughs> Listen, man, in a situation like that, you just don't interrupt. It, the fact of the matter is she deserved to get punched in the face. You know what I'm saying? Not by me, but, but definitely, you know what I'm saying? You know, Tara was in the right of doing what she did and to cut her off because she continuously tell her. You know, one thing I know that Tara, Tara probably would have never gotten in the car. We know she's smoking weed too, right? Which she shouldn't be doing around the kids, but it is what it is. But not excusing that either. But other than that, I don't think she's the type of mom that would get into a vehicle when she knows that she's high because she's a doctor. She doesn't strike me as an individual that would do that. But who knows? Who knows what they might write into the show next? They might just write that into the show to make it seem like, you know, oh, we should relate now, just like the situation that's going on with Juice and Clay. Now we have, um, what's his name? Dude, Sheriff, dude, right? Um, him promising Jax, hey, I'll tell you who the rat is, right? I'll tell you who the rat is if you give me Frankie, right? And whoever is that is involved with his wife's death. Um, I think Clay is one of those people, but I don't think he's going to hand over Clay, though. I think they're going to find Frankie and, uh, and, and get him to Roosevelt. But at the end of the day, you know, as I said before, not to go too deep into things right here. Um, the thing that I'm harping on the most is the constant lying in the show. It's just lies between family members. And I'm not saying that this is not real life. I'm saying if we tell more truth in life, you just feel more relieved. Even though we just got to tell the truth and accept the consequences. That's what it is. Tell the truth, accept the consequences, and move forward in life at least they know the truth at least you don't lie to them you know and then we can say to that person you should learn to forgive you get what i'm saying and and i think that's what everybody should do learn to forgive right so for me as this annoying bathroom pipes in the wall right now is i'm pretty sure you guys can hear it um yeah, so for, 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 for in certain circumstances when things happen in the show, you're going to see me go off because I don't like seeing it because the situation with Juice, Juice just, he, 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 he annoys me so much because there's so many opportunities he has had to handle things differently and he just did not do that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, I got to find this out before I tell the guys that Clay is involved. I mean, why is he such a dumb character? And I know people are going to be like, oh, you know, it's the pressure of if police are putting pressure on you and blah, blah, blah. Dude, this guy is worried about him having a black father. Clay didn't even ask him about that. After he said it, he's like, so what <laughs> even chibs told him so what and he still hasn't come out i'm not saying tell them about the rico case and then you know you know about the coke and everything i'm not saying about that because that has been it's a dead situation at this point even though it you know they would probably kill him let me not say it's a non-factor because it it, it is an it is a factor it, it, they would kill him if they found out not clay but 
the rest of the club would have to vote on it and they probably would vote to kill him because he decided to do that based on the fact that he was threatened about the color of his skin <laughs> well not really the color of his skin but his ethnicity right so it, it, it's just you know it was just for me it would have been an easy thing like they're not gonna kill you because you're black or because you know what I'm saying like I don't think the club would have killed him because he's black they would have probably like took away his membership if anything and you get to walk away a free a, a free man you won't have the club anymore but it is what it is right at least you got your life and you're not being hounded by the police but you know choices 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 right but in any case guys this is all i have to say Gemma is in is in the um is in the doghouse with the family she has to figure out what she's going to do i don't know if she is going to do it or whatever the situation is but it is a way for her to get back in with everyone maybe not tara but at least not get cut off from the entire family you know so in any case guys i can't wait to watch more of this show it's so good um season five is even better than any previous seasons they up the ante every single season and that's why i love this show so much it's my favorite show to watch right now on the channel um we got two more seasons to go after this one is done and we will be all done with sons of anarchy but until we get there hit that like button hit that leave something in the comment section and as always it's me terabyte reacts and i will catch you guys later peace